Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our Lego room. In today's video, we're taking a look at our grain elevator and some of the improvements we've made to it. I've had this grain elevator for roughly a year and a half now, I believe, and it's been awesome. I've taken it out to several shows. It looks amazing here in the Lego room. Really quite happy with it. It's based off of a set of instructions that I purchased from Japaz on Rebrickable. Highly recommend checking out his uh, instruction sets that he has for sale. Uh, we've built a few of them and we've got several more lined up to build. I uh, can't recommend them enough. But, you know, with taking it out to the shows and moving it around, there was a couple things that became apparent to me. One, I wanted to look into making an improvement to the roof. The roof was a little fragile for taking to shows, you know, it tended to, uh, you know, some parts would fall off in transit or when we were moving it in and out of venues. So I wanted to improve that. And, you know, I'm always also just continuing to look for ways to make it easier to move. It's quite a sizable uh, structure and it can be difficult to carry it in and out of the basement, in and out of a vehicle, you know, and in and out of a venue. So any improvements that I can make to, you know, make it easier to get it into a box, easier to move around uh, is a big win. And you can see first off here, I've made some improvements to the top two roof sections. I've gone for a brick built approach rather than the plate and tile uh, that were attached there before. And really happy with how that turned out picked up a large number of these uh, brick uh, sort of roof slope pieces and went about putting them on here. They were easy to integrate into the structure. I did make a few alterations around this part right here. I added in a couple extra uh, rows of the red profile brick just to make sure there was still enough of a height uh, in between these two roof sections here. Wanted to make sure that didn't get too small. But you can see now the, you know, in addition to the each roof uh, row being affixed on either ends, we've got the roof uh, pieces built into the grain elevator itself. Just adds a lot more uh, sort of sturdiness and structure to the overall uh, roof on both the sides and on the top. It does restrict a little bit of the access that we have to the interior in those locations, but not really worried about that for the time being. So, you know, I really like the way this looks. I think it fits quite well with the overall structure and, you know, definitely happy uh, with the change and looking forward to seeing how it performs as we move it in and out of the Lego room for an upcoming train show. Now, the other change that I made, and you might already be able to see a little bit of a hint of it, is I've actually turned this into a little bit of a modular grain elevator. So you can see right here along this section, uh, changes a little bit from the profile brick into just plates. And that allows us to take the top portion of the grain elevator off and transport it separately. So let's take it off and I can show you guys what it looks like and some of the improvements with that. So you can see here we've got the grain elevator now without that upper section on. Really reduces the overall size of the structure and should make it a lot easier to transport. Another benefit of this is I was able to, you know, between this change and the, the roof change, I was able to remove a sort of quasi floor that I had put into the middle of the grain elevator, which allowed us to remove a number of the sort of cross beams that we had in there. You'll notice that I've added kind of an interior structure to the grain elevator. That just makes sure that these walls don't sort of collapse in on themselves, makes it a lot sturdier for transport. 
But, you know, so now with that floor removed, it's just interior support. So there's no longer any sort of cross beams to make up sort of a floor that the uh, plates can be put on. Happy with that change. I think there's more that I would like to do going forward to the grain elevator. I think I'd like to look at making this next chunk modular as well so that it can really just come apart. I'd like to change up the roof on this portion of the, the grain elevator here. Uh, maybe something to better match the new roof on the top of the grain elevator. But if we make a number of those changes, then you know I think this will become super easy to transport around. But it'll also, by having it in sections, allow us to make some more improvements to the grain elevator. I would like to add a few more sort of interior details and I'd like to have sort of better access to different parts of the, um, the overall structure. It'd be nice to have better access to the interior of the, uh, the truck drop-off point here, uh, better access to the front uh, hatches that go allow people to bring stuff in and out from grain cars out in front of the grain elevator. And with that, we could potentially add some lighting, maybe some machinery and different things that you would actually see inside a grain elevator, which I think would be cool. So, you know, overall really happy with this change. You can see this is what the top part of the, the modular grain elevator looks like now. So I added a couple rows of plate on the bottom of this just to make sure it was sturdy and could hold up to being moved off of the, the bigger structure and then put back on. And then you can see on the bigger structure here, we've got a couple of studs on the front and the back for connecting that top part onto. It's actually fairly easy to move on and off. It's not too hard to get attached again. I experimented with a couple of studs on the, the left and right sides as well found that you know it didn't really give me that much more stability or you know sort of security in how the top of the elevator was attached uh, but it did make it considerably harder to get the uh, the top part of the grain elevator on and off so just went with these two sets of studs one on the back one on the front and really happy with how that's working and then just like that it's all back together again so you know, I'm going to be taking this out very soon to a train show. We'll see how it performs in the sort of move in, move out process, as well as how it displays there. But uh, early signs are very positive. In addition to some more work on the elevator itself, I still want to make some changes to the support building and some, you know, add more sort of surrounding details to the grain elevator. So that'll be an upcoming project. But, you know, I think that this was a really great milestone to reach, especially since we're going out to a train show. I think that uh, this should make our lives a lot easier as we move the grain elevator around. Now, as I mentioned, this grain elevator is based off of some instructions that I purchased from Japaz on Rebrickable. Highly recommend checking out his work there. Uh, really happy with this model as well as some, the other models that I've built from his instruction sets and looking forward to building more of his models in the future. Now, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thank you very much for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.